Average rate of change, 2099. M&M quiz, 2099. Based on the graph provided, what is the average rate of change of the function, call it m, from x equal to negative 1 to x equal to positive 2? And you know that m is equal to change in y over change in x, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Is it a, 1, b, 2, c, 4? Remember, m is equal to change in y over change in x. For us to have change in y, you need to have x1, y1 and x2, y2. x goes from negative 1 all the way to positive 2. Ordered pair associated with x equals negative 1. It is positive 1. So y1 is positive 1. So let's call this x1, y1. When you go to x equal to 2, so this is x equal to 1 and this is x equal to 2. And when you go to x equal to 2, you see that the y value is positive 4. So y2 is then positive 4. We can really get change in y and change in x. What is change in x? Change in x is, change in x is x2 minus x1. So it is x2 minus x1. So it is 2 minus negative 1 and so it is 3. So change in x is 3. And you agree, right? Change in x as you go from x equals negative 1 all the way to x equals positive 2. So that is delta x. And what is delta x? 3. How about change in y? Change in y is y2 minus y1. And so it is 4 minus 1. And that is equal to 3. So change in y is 3. Change in x is 3. So this is 3. And this is 3 because this is 1 and this is 2 and that is 3. This is 1 and this is 2 and that is 3. So what is our average rate of change of the function from x equals negative 1 all the way to x equals positive 2? It is 3 over 3 and that is 1. So rise over run is 1. This is the average rate of change of the function. Remember, it is a curve. So if your choice is negative 1, positive 1, and positive 2, positive 4, then your average rate of change of the function is 1. Your average rate of change of the function is then just 1. 3 over 3, 1. And this is George Matthew, always on your side. See you at hecanhelp.com. Good luck.